Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're just stopping by for the first time. My name is Brenda and this is Scamp. Can you say hi? He doesn't like to be held so this is a rare occasion I wanted to capture it on film. He's not very happy, can you tell? Anyway, Tyler Scamp would like to say, get well soon. Um, for those of you who follow me, um, my friend Tyler Ramey just had um, abdominoplasty. He had lost uh, over 100 pounds, and he had surgery to um, get rid of the loose skin. So Tyler is recovering, and we wish you all the best, Tyler. We wish you love and hugs and prayers for a speedy recovery. And that includes Scamp. Are you tired of being held? Would you like to get down? I think that was a yes. All right, you can get down. <laughs> it's like, yay, free at last, free at last. Okay, today I am going to be doing a Dollar Tree collab um, that my friend Dina at Divine Design started. Um, I did not see it when she first opened it up for the collab, but she said anybody that wants to join in, but that will mention her channel, and then um, I'm going to send my video to her, and then she will link it with the rest of the other videos. So that is Dina at Divine Design, and I will have her channel linked down below in the description box. But I thought it was really cute. It's called Confessions of a Dollar Tree Hauler. And there's 10 questions, and I wrote them down. Um, question number one is, when did you start shopping at Dollar Tree and why? And honestly, I cannot remember when I first started shopping at Dollar Tree. I mean, it has been years and years and years ago. I want to say... I think probably 20 to 25 years, if not longer, because my oldest daughter, Kristen, is 30. And I remember shopping for like Dollar Tree stocking stuffers back then. So I'm going to say at least 25 years. Um, question number two, how did your love for Dollar Tree grow? I guess I was just amazed at all of the stuff that you could get at Dollar Tree. Stuff that I really needed for myself as far as um, beauty products and shampoo and household items and just cute little toys that I'd pick up for the girls. Um, I was just amazed that you could find all of these items at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So I guess that's, and I guess the items kept getting better and better as far as quality. And you guys know, even today, Dollar Tree is really stepping up their game on a lot of different items. I mean, I think they're really, really comparable to like Target, like the Target Dollar Spot items. Um, I've seen things at Dollar Tree that sells for two and three times that amount at Target and Walmart. So I just think the value that you get for the items is what made my love for Dollar Tree grow. Um, question number three, when did you start making Dollar Tree haul videos and why? I started making Dollar Tree haul videos probably about two years ago. Um, I think it was shortly after I started my YouTube channel, and that's been almost two years ago, thanks to Ninju. Um, my friend Ninju convinced me to start a YouTube channel, and it started out mostly just because of um, my love for the Happy Planner and decorating my Happy Planner. And my friend Ninju had started a channel, and she's like, I really, really think that you should start a channel. And I kept saying, no, no, no. And she finally convinced me to, and I'm so glad that she did, because I have met so many wonderful 
people here on YouTube by commenting back and forth in the comment section. Um, Ninja and I have just become awesome friends. Uh, I mean, we talk all the time. Um, my friend Robin at Robin's Nest, um, I found her through YouTube, and she and I are going on a planner cruise together in October. There are just so many people. I, I mean, I, I love following so many people. I just recently met my friend Tyler. I found him through YouTube. I never would have found him if I, <clears throat> excuse me, if I hadn't been on YouTube. And YouTube is just such an awesome way to connect with people that normally your paths would never cross. And that's why I st originally started. I started my YouTube channel and then I started doing Dollar Tree videos. Um, even though because my love is planning in my happy planner and planning videos in general, and <clears throat> unless you are really into that, you don't really don't get a lot of views. And I'm not on YouTube just to get a lot of views, but um, I do enjoy it and it does take time. I mean, I do have a full-time job and it does take time to make YouTube videos and set up the camera and edit them and upload them and export them and post them. I mean, it takes time. So of course you'd like your videos to do well. So I saw that the Dollar Tree videos seemed to get a lot of views. And I thought, I go to the Dollar Tree anyway, so why not post a Dollar Tree haul and see how that does. And what I found was, after posting my Dollar Tree hauls, a lot of new subscribers came to my channel. They came for the Dollar Tree hauls, but then they stuck around and they also watched my planner videos and all of my other videos. So it was a win-win. So, um, Question number four. Have you ever shopped at Dollar Tree just to make a video? I would say yes and no. Um, I would say I didn't purchase items just for the sake of doing a video, but I think there were times that I probably went with the intent of like looking for the new items because I knew it was probably time to put up a Dollar Tree video. So yes and no. And I think I have a scamp hair in my mouth. <laughs> I keep feeling something on my lip. Um, question number five, have you ever hauled an item from Dollar Tree that you only bought for the haul video and then later returned because you never even wanted that item in the first place. No, I can honestly say I have not done that. I do know that there are some people here on YouTube that do that. I mean, they will spend close to $100 on items and then return those items. I don't have time to do that, nor do I think it's right to do that. Um, the things that I haul are things that I want and things that I am going to use. So I purchase them and then share them in a haul. So the answer to that is no. Question number six, have you ever recommended an item from Dollar Tree that you knew really wasn't worth the purchase price? No, I can honestly say I've never done that either. Um, Normally, the things that I haul from Dollar Tree are things that I like and things that I use. So I don't purchase an item just for the sake of showing it and then recommend it to you without knowing. I mean, I guess I, the only thing I can think of is I purchase like an eight pack of like the, um, like the glue sticks and they were all dried out. But I don't think it was all of them. I just think I got like a bad package because I took them back and returned them and the next pack was perfectly fine. So I have never intentionally recommended something to my viewers that I didn't think was a good item. So, no. 
Question number seven, do you really use all the stuff you buy at Dollar Tree? I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, yes. Um, I will say there, there are some stickers and some washi that I have hauled that I haven't used yet, but I knew that if I didn't pick them up right then, that I probably wouldn't find them again. So I may not have used it yet, but I'm going to. So the things that I purchase, I either use or I intend to use. Uh, question number eight, what is your favorite item to showcase in a haul video? Um, probably, oh, that's hard. I would say probably the seasonal items because I just think that if you are starting out and that you're limited on a budget, I think the Dollar Tree is a great place to go and pick up seasonal decorative items or seasonal floral that you can do DIYs and make great items to decorate your home or to give as gifts. Um, so I would say probably seasonal is probably my favorite. Um, the planner items it's probably a tie between the seasonal items and the planner related items like the stickers and the washi and all of that but seasonal probably ranks number one question number nine do you set a budget when shopping at Dollar Tree or do you just buy everything because it's only a dollar I normally will set a budget um, I limit myself to $20 a week and that is whether it's at Dollar Tree or whether it's at Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or wherever. Now there are some weeks that I don't go anywhere so I take that $20 and roll it over to the next week. So I do stick to a budget. Um, there have been times, especially at Christmas time, that I have gone over because I'm buying items um, for gifts, for employees, for friends, you know, to go in addition with their other gift. Um, buying tons of stuff for stocking stuffers. So probably Christmas time is probably the only time that I truly go over budget or, if, <clears throat> excuse me, if there's an item that I have been searching for for a long time and I finally found it and I figure I better pick it up. So most of the time I always stick to a budget because even though it's a dollar it can get out of hand really fast and before you know it you're spending 50, 60 bucks at Dollar Tree. So those dollars add up. So yes, I do try to stick to a budget. Um, and question number 10 if you quit doing haul videos, would you still shop at Dollar Tree? And the answer is 100% yes. I start, I mean, I shopped at Dollar Tree before I started making videos, and I would shop at Dollar Tree even if I stopped doing YouTube. Because I think for the quality that you get for a dollar, that it's definitely worth shopping at Dollar Tree. So I would definitely keep shopping at Dollar Tree. So those are the 10 questions and my answers to those questions. Um, I'd be interested to see what you guys think about these questions. So I would love it if you would comment down in the description box below. Any of the questions that, you know, kind of spoke to you and you thought, oh, I want I, how would I answer that question? So um, make sure you leave a comment down in the description box below. I love talking back and forth with you guys in the comment section. I, I love talking to you guys. So um, make sure that number one, you like this video. Um, number two, please subscribe if you haven't already. I have received a ton of new subscribers sent over from Tyler Ramey's channel. And I just wanna say thank you to Tyler 
and thank you to everyone who came over from Tyler's channel. I'm still getting new subscribers. I just checked and I think I'm like 841, 42, I think the last time I checked. And just every, every other day somebody says, I came over from Tyler's channel. So I just want to say thank you so much to Tyler. And again, I just want to wish you get well wishes. Um, today is Friday, so he is on day, he had his surgery Tuesday, so he's kind of like on day four post-op. Um, I chatted with him on Instagram and he's still in some pain, but he said every day is getting a little bit better. So um, I'm sending you love and hugs and prayers for a speedy recovery, Tyler. We all love you and we want you to get well soon. And it's all going to be worth it. So, um, that's it for my video today. I would love it if, again, if you would subscribe. And if you would, please share my videos. I would love it if you would share my videos. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers and slowly but surely I'm getting there. Um, I do Dollar Tree hauls here um, for all of you subscribers who are new. I do Dollar Tree hauls. Um, I do planner videos, um, like plan with me, decorate my happy planner. Um, I just do random Dollar Tree hauls in my car and chit chat videos. I'm on a weight loss journey. Um, I post a, an update video to that every week. Um, I'm going into week nine on that. So I would just love it if you would stick around and please share my videos. And I guess that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, God bless. Love you. Bye.